All right, we're back, and like I said in my previous video, I want to start getting back into the SHTF stuff, the bug out things, survival, prepping, you know. So today we're going to start with my bug out bag. Now, by any means, this is not what you should carry or how I want your bag to look, nothing like that. You just do you, do what you want to do. So that being said, we're just going to go through this whole bag and then I'm going to do separate videos on items in the bag, how you would use them, whether they would be practical for you, and so on and so forth. So we're just going to get into it. My next video is going to be on the bag, what kind it is, how many pouches in it, the size of it, all that stuff. So further ado, we're just going to get right into it. On the side here, we have... There's a shovel on the side, one of the fold-up shovels. Then you just open it and screw this down and it will basically be your shovel. So we'll do a video on that. On this side here we have a Gerber saw. I've definitely seen better ones, but this one isn't too bad. So. And it's not going to open because I'm on film now. There we go. It's pretty decent. This one here is about 18 inches long. Comes with its own separate blade. We'll do a separate video on that one too. So we got the saw. We got a watch here so you know it. So you can figure out what time it is. This watch is also made of paracord. We have these hasps, these hasps here, where you can just pretty much attach anything to this bag. This is all molly weaved. This side we have... Our fishing kit, complete with hooks, bobbers, sinkers, uh, lures. You can either have a collapsible fishing pole that can hook to this, or use a long stick, whatever, as long as you've got your, everything you need here. This side we have a slingshot. These are always overlooked. They are definitely a useful item. I keep kicking my tripod. Make sure we got it good. All right. And then we have we have a knife here. This one is uh it's not an Ozark Trail. What is it? A UST. Also has a fire steel in there. This side here, attached to the side, we have a seatbelt cutter or paracord cutter. This one is actually military issued and doesn't weigh anything. This is from OntarioKnife.com. So now we're going to get into the contents of the bag. And this is in no, no particular order. In this first pouch we have fish and line. Toothpicks, and the toothpicks can be used for picking teeth, or it can be used for, you can use this for good kindling if you really need to. We have uh, three Bic lighters. If you're going to use any lighters, I do suggest the Bic lighters. They're just a better lighter. Wrapped around each one of these lighters, we have duct tape. These three lighters all together have over a half a roll of duct tape on them. So it's already there. It's just so you don't have to carry uh, an entire roll of duct tape and trying to jam it in this bag. This makes it a lot easier. And you can take it off of there and then use it. Also, each of these lighters have uh, a paper clip wrapped around it so you can't accidentally push the 
the button to start it and you lose all your fluid. So they'll be good for years in there. We also have, this is just small, I got it from Amazon. This is a, a repair kit for your clothes. So you can sew, it's got all kinds of thread in there. It's got all kinds of thread in there. Little pair of scissors, thimble, uh, tape measure, which I didn't notice that last time. Needles and pins, safety pins. You want to be able to repair your stuff. And also you can use the fishing line to repair your bag if you happen to get a rip in your bag. This right here is a coastal diamond block. You can use this to sharpen knives. Oh, and before I forget, this bag with everything in it weighs 27 pounds and there's quite a bit in here. Right here we got just a little thing of uh, Vaseline. It's called lip therapy. It really doesn't matter. Um, you can use this to smear on cotton to start fires. And it'll help the cotton burn longer instead of burning up. In here we have butterfly enclosures, in case if you get cut open. Uh, better than nothing, I'm sure there's bandages somewhere in here. Hand sanitizer. You want to keep your hands clean. You don't want to say, you're, say you are bugging out. You're going to want to bug in before you bug out. But in the case that you bug out, there's so many germs out there. You cut yourself on the dumbest thing and you could easily get infected. So hand sanitizer is a must. That's it for that pouch. This right here, we have another fire steel. This one is by... This one's called Strike Force. UST, Ultimate Survival Technologies. This is one of my better fire steels. This one is thick. So I'll be doing a separate video on that one. You got your striker right here. So... And there's is also paracord attached to this. And we have fingernail clippers. I completely forgot that was in there, but it's in there. We have this multi-tool, this one is a Gerber. This one also was military issued. It's got the cutter in there and it's also got uh, the blades lock. So it's not like your regular Leatherman. And then you just pull that and unlock it. This one's got several tools on it. Screwdrivers, the knife, a file, more screwdrivers. Another knife, and this is definitely sharp. These are one, this is one of the better ones that I own, and it folds up nice and neat like that. This is another unlocked item. Well, we also have the fire steel again. You should have several ways of starting a fire in your bag, but this right here we have. I have something else shoved in there. It is a Pencil sharpener. Why would you want a pencil sharpener? You can take twigs, you can take little twigs that are dry, put them in here, and you can make kindling with them. And this is also the bigger one, which I like this one because when you have the top on it, it catches all your shavings. You can use it to start a fire. I'll probably do video on that, on, a video on that too. This is just a Ziploc bag. I just kept it in there to keep everything from rattling. But you can always use bags when you're out there too. I'll have to figure out how I had that in there. But anyway, like I said, another fire steel. This right here is nails. You can always use nails 
whether you're hanging stuff from trees or really whatever else you might be wanting to use it for. Uh, put them in a pill container and just keep them in there. And I believe that's it for that pouch. So we're on to the next. This, I ended up sealing it in this bag and it hasn't leaked over, holy cow, it's been in there for at least three years. This is all Vaseline. I will tell you what that's for in a minute. This is a survival kit, first aid kit. I got this off of Amazon and I will be doing a video on this kit as well. I'm not gonna go through everything, but I'll go through the gist of it. Uh, I also like to carry all kinds of things with me. I have these strung out through my bag. Pepto-Bismol tablets. In this, you're gonna have, uh, like I said, I'll do a video on this, but it's all first aid stuff. There's a fishing kit in here as well. Compass. Uh, band-aids gauze everything so I'll do a separate video on that a rain poncho doesn't take up any room like a, a buck from your dollar store and I can be shoved in there anywhere tin foil you can use tin foil if you choose you can boil water in this cook food on this, just tin foil is always good to have in your bag. And that's it for that pouch, so on to the next. In this pouch there is not a whole lot of order to this, but it all fits. More straps for your slingshot, you always want an extra set. This right here is a Sawyer Mini. This is a uh, water filtration. It comes with the clean out syringe, the straw. You can also use the straw for a uh, clean out. And it comes with uh, a squeezable bag, kind of like a canteen. Now this will, uh, the Sawyer Mini will filter, oh, I think it's 100,000 gallons. As long as you keep it clean. And it will, it will filter down to 0 0.1 microns, which is just about everything. So we'll set that off to the side. We have a radio in here. Radio slash flashlight. It is solar charged. You can crank it. It comes with, uh, it comes with cables to charge your phone. It also comes with an extra cable for the iPhone. I'll be doing a separate video on this. Because as long as you pick up radio stations and the things happen, to, you can also use any of this stuff in a, in a regular disaster, whether you're flooded out, so it doesn't have to be a bug out situation. This right here is a, uh, it's a thermo blanket. And this is, I'm not sure the size of it. This thing will wrap me up completely. And this bag here is a power cell. And it is 4,000 uh, milliamp hours. You should be able to charge your cell phone completely off this. If you are using anything like this in your bug out bag, be sure to charge this periodically. This will probably need charge. So I'll probably leave that out. This is my little hygiene kit. We got a uh, toothpaste and a little toothbrush. This is just a regular toothbrush busted in half. There's no use on having the entire brush in there. You're using this end and that's it. This right here falls under the fire starting category or you can pull out splinters with it. A huge magnifying glass as long as the sun is out and these you can you can start a fire pretty quick with these
This right here is, uh, my buddy from the military gave me this. You can patch your clothes right on the fly with this. I believe there is only one in here. But you're going to want to keep your clothes in good shape. Chances are you're not going to have many on you. This right here, I have this taped shut because I don't want it to come open. It's a uh, conditioner for your hair. This bag has just about everything in it. We also have a life straw. My girlfriend bought me two of these for Christmas one year. So one of these stays in there. I have the other one. Oh, where in the hell is that? In the, um, I have another one in, first aid box. in the first aid box. I have one in there. Right here we have deodorant sealed up. Basically everything you need for a shower should be in here. Water, water purification tablets. So you can purify water this way or you can use uh, the Sawyer Mini. Baby wipes. These been in here for a while and I can still tell that they're moist. So that's good. It beats using a thing of toilet paper. You can use these as sanitary wipes, baby wipes, whatever you need to use them for. A roll of uh, paracord. This is 550 paracord. This right here, I forgot about this. This is kind of neat. Another saw for cutting limbs off of trees. This one actually has, uh, this one's a chainsaw blade. And it's just as sharp. Maybe I'll do a video on this one. I haven't even got a chance to use this yet. we have in here zip ties for whatever you decide you need zip ties for kind of falls under the paracord thing bar of soap I have not ran into shampoo yet you know what I might have forgot that in my bag we got a bar of soap all right so now we're on to the next pouch. <laughs> Extra clothing. My buddy from the military gave me these and uh, they're actually pretty nice. It's a shirt, pair of pants. There's two pair of pants in here. And this one here, is also a tourniquet. You wanna have one of these. That is for sure. And this this one has the stick in it and the Velcro to keep everything in place. You're gonna want, you're gonna want a good one. So one outfit, this is just a blanket I had laying around. Um, in the other room, I can actually make a shelter out of everything that's in here and I'll show you all that in a minute. But in the other room, I have uh, a small one person tent and also uh, a Sub-Zero sleeping bag, which can easily be attached to this and it's easily within reach. It takes two seconds to grab it. And here's a blanket. This right here is full cotton balls. That's for the Vaseline that I pointed out earlier. You can, you can, cause if you light a cotton ball on fire, it goes up so quick, it's not gonna light anything. You put, you smear Vaseline on it and it'll burn longer, typically kind of like a candle. So you can get your, uh, all your wood shavings and kindling started. 
we have a pair of gloves. These ones are insulated. We have a compass inside of the gloves. Also a magnifying glass on us. You can use also use that to start a fire if you need to. And I'm sure there is things that I missed in this bag. We're running out of room on the table. Here's another pair of gloves. You can always double up, or if you get a hole in one. Gloves, smaller gloves like this don't take up any space. Pair of socks. New socks are always nice after however long you're out there. This right here is, uh, I want to say it's stainless steel. Might be aluminum. Um, you can boil water in here, use it for cooking. It's got the handle on it. I also have extra socks in here. But you can use that for cooking and boiling water. Inside the socks, I keep silverware. This one's made by Ozark Trail, and it's, I don't want to say it's made great, because it's not, but you can still eat food with it. I ended up busting off one of the prongs, so you don't want to really beat on these. Uh, two types of can openers on it. You have a corkscrew. I guess if you're lucky enough to bring wine with you, this other side's a knife. Not very sharp, but it'll cut, it'll cut your food. Goes together like this, and then when you close up the spoon and the fork, it stays like that. So I just keep it in the sock. Roll up both socks. And then put it back in here. <clears throat> just keep the noise down. You put the silverware in there and it's just going to rattle around. This right here, we have a 100 ounce water bladder. This bag is also, uh, it's compatible with the water bladder. So we'll find room for that over here. Extra pairs of boxers, three extra pairs. So you got a complete outfit here, several changes of socks, different pants, shirt, and then whatever you have on your body when you leave. Got at least one MRE. This is for the power bank. You can charge your phone off of it. Uh, this will not charge an iPhone. It charges your average regular stuff. I'm not sure what's in there. I'm going to have to open that up. And that's it for those pouches. We also have another first aid kit. Uh, hand sanitizer, gel, uh, all kinds of stuff in here. And there's eye wash in here. So that's in there. And now we'll go on to the back side. I went to see if this will hold an armor plate. This will not ho comfortably hold one of my plates. And then right here are 55 gallon trash bags. If I unwrap this whole thing, it stretches about 15 feet and about four feet wide. So you can use that as a shelter 
for rain or whatever else you want to use it for. You can use it to collect in rainwater if you don't have anything to drink. So, and I believe that is it in the entire bag. Like I said, this is not everything that you need or anything that I say that you need. Just do what you need. But I did notice that <clears throat> I do not have shampoo in here. So I will probably try to get that taken care of. But this is pretty much everything that's in it. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but my bag is 27 pounds. I weighed it right before this video. Usually there's a hatchet with it. The hatchet is in the garage right now. And I can't think of anything else. So... Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, got any questions, leave them down below. So, thanks for watching. And I'm going to start doing other videos with items in here. So, thank you.